Thank you for coming by and uh, coming back. I have so many things to talk to you about. There's so many projects that I want. You, that a lot of content. A lot you of are so of content, hot right now. Yeah. I can't even tell you, man. <laughs> Thanks for doing that bit, by the way, earlier in the show. You're a good Thanks. man. Uh, but you have Adam's Family too. You have uh, the card counter, yeah. which I want to get into. Yeah, uh, I want to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. Dune. Mm -hmm. uh, Dune. Uh, scenes from a marriage. Uh, I'm not completely finished with it yet. But you're so good oh, in that you. thing, and Jessica is so great in this thing. Guys, you guys crushed heavy, that one. It's heavy stuff. Ooh, it's heavy yeah. stuff. But I mean, w when you do these intense scenes, do you, what do you do to just unwind or just go like, oh, I just need a break? Or do you sit in your trailer or what do you Yeah, do? well, we had these uh, rooms, like green rooms, because we were just uh, filming in this, it's like an old warehouse. It's a studio now up in the Bronx. Yeah. And, um, and so we had these two little rooms with our individual little setups in there. And so sometimes uh, Jessica and I would sit on her couch and have tea and watch the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> is that how you? Yep. Great yeah, British Bake Off. Yeah, 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 and then sometimes it's calming. It's really calming and sweet and nice people and. Um, <laughs> That's the best. You know, I yeah. love hearing that story. Yeah. That's how. Because and then sometimes with me it'd be potato chips in succession that we would watch. Ooh. Dude, I'm getting it. I'm getting ready for succession. Ooh, I oh, can't wait. Right? This gonna be, it's gonna be good. Oh, gonna uh, be good. Uh, uh, can I talk about Dune for a second as well? Now Dune, it's massive. It's, it's, yeah. How, how do you get involved with this? Uh, you're a fan of the book, or you fan of the Is film? It book? <laughs> did, they make, did they make a book out of it already? No, no, yeah, the book came fast. after the movie. <laughs> they make them fast nowadays. Uh, Dude, yeah, but how, how do you get involved in that? Just they call you and they go, hey, we love you? No. I call, I write to Denis and I say, hey, I hear you're doing Dune. Big fan over here. And then he wrote back, uh, so you're a fan of Dune. Interesting. <laughs> that was it. Didn't hear anything for two years. You're joking. No. That's the worst. And he reached out and said that, you know, here, here's a script. I'm not sure exactly where you fit into it. What, you know, read it. Tell me what you think. And, uh, and so I read it. And, and I already had a sense that, like, Duke Leto, the dad, that's kind of, you know, he's, the way he's even described in the book is olive skinned and, you know, the high cheekbones. And I just, I knew there was a beard waiting to be explored. You have the best beard game in the business. He walks in beard first. You know, yeah, of course. Any room. Of course. And so I, I, I was ready to unleash that one. But when I first met you, you're like this, sans beard. Mm -hmm. And then I see you with a beard, and man, was I jealous. You have a... Thanks, man. You guys must great to see this? You're old guy, right? No, I got a patchy. Mm. It's very, very... Quest, can I get a drum roll, please, for this beard? There you go, right okay, there. Okay, right. right. no, it's got. okay. I mean, you, know, you got a real that's beautiful beard over there. Therese, Therese got a good beard. Yeah, We've got yeah, a good beard yeah, game going, but that's that's what I'm talking about right there. Thank Dune you. beard is what I'm talking about. Uh, and I know you uh, in the film Timothy Chalamet is your is your son. He's my little boy. It's hilarious. He's my, my little sweet boy. Little baby boy. <laughs> How did you guys bond? You and uh... just would hold him a lot. <laughs> and stroke that's him so funny. And, uh... Uh, he yeah. was the best because you know it's you know it's like I can't just be there like I'm your dad. Of course not. So yeah. he's got to treat me like that, you know. And it's that old adage of you know from theater school where it's like the king doesn't show the audience who the king is; it's the court yes. that tells the audience who the king ah. is. You know, it's because how it's how everybody else acts. Correct. Um, and so he immediately just like went there with it, and um, you know it just shows what a you know talented and, and did, did beautiful you, actor he is. Did you, I was going to say, did you play many lullabies that you play to your son? We play. <laughs> We played a lot of music. Yep. We did. We did. He was playing a lot of guitar at the time, so we would, you know, we'd trade some well, songs you, back and forth. I know you're a musician, but I mean, you play, mm -hmm. you, you, you play some lullabies for your for your son. I do. Yeah, and I do. Is your wife? Well, I used to. They, they, he doesn't like him anymore. He's out. <laughs> He's out. He's not into it anymore. But what were the songs about? You know, it's like all the old crap. You know, like uh, the Wheels on the Bus and the classics. Yeah, all the other classics. Yeah, yeah, he just wants to hear the hits. And yeah, uh, so he lights a lighter. He's like, yeah, and I got. Like, I'm not tired. I heard. This I got one. a lot of originals, but he just, uh, you know, he's just not as into them. But what, uh, what but are the originals? You know, elephants are kind to people. Um, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, the hippopotamus song. Although that one, the little guy is really into, and and I feel like he's coming around to it now. The older one. The hippopotamus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it's just you on guitar? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and singing. I'm just and, uh, saying because... Uh... You want me to sing you a lullaby? Could you? <laughs> All right. Oh, Can you, you guys want to hear a song? All right. Want to hear a ripple song? Here's yeah. a pick right here. Oh, right, the pick, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eugene and Mads. So, well, here's the thing. It, uh, I remember I played it for uh, Jessica's daughter, and yeah. she started crying. <laughs> Oh no! So it can it's a, it can be intense okay. too. So it's got you know the little I'll boys. Go with an open so, mind. Um, yeah. yeah.
It's the hippo song. It's about the hippopotamus. The most dangerous land animal in the world. Hippopotamus. 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 Ah. <laughs> I'm a hippopotamus. I like swimming, but I'm dangerous. If you get too close to me, I might just bite your feet. Oh. Hippopotamus. 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 I'm a hippopotamus. I'm a hippopotamus. Hip I'm fat and dangerous. If you don't understand, I might just bite your hand. Oh.